Welcome. Today we are going to be using the aluminum isopropoxid I prepared earlier to do a Mirwin Pondofferlay reduction of camphor to make borneol. In a MPV reduction you use a cheap sacrificial alcohol to reduce the starting ketone to an alcohol. In the process the sacrificial alcohol is oxidized to a ketone. In this case rubbing alcohol will react with camphor to produce borneol and acetone. As the reaction is reversible we need to employ some technique to drive the reaction to completion. In this case we can use fractional distillation to selectively remove the acetone product from the reaction mixture which drives the reaction towards the right. Alright enough geek chatter, let's do a reaction. I got some overpriced camphor oil from Safeway, and used the aluminum isopropoxid and dry isopropyl alcohol from the last video. The exact quantities do not matter much as the alcohol is in great molar excess and the aluminum isopropoxid is a catalyst. The camphor is the limiting reagent and I used the two small bottles. I put the ingredients and a stir bar in a round bottom flask, topped it with the Gruss fractioning condenser, an elbow with thermometer attachment, a Liebig condenser, another elbow, and finally a receiver flask. I then started the cooling water, gentle hot plate heating and stirring. Slowly turn the heat up a bit at a time until the fractioning column starts refluxing. When you begin to see droplets forming on the thermometer bulb pay close attention. We want to drive off the acetone which boils at 56 degrees Celsius but retain the isopropyl alcohol which boils at 82.6 degrees Celsius. You will see the acetone dripping into the receiving flask, this is basically garbage unless you have some nail polish you need to remove. When the acetone is completely driven off the thermometer reading will temporarily drop from around 56 degrees Celsius then start rising again as the isopropyl alcohol starts boiling over. At this point the reaction is complete. Turn things off and let everything cool down. This is my crude borneal product. Unfortunately, the boiling point of borneal is too high for atmospheric pressure distillation and my vacuum pump is too weak to significantly lower the boiling point. Now you may be wondering why I'm bothering to make borneal. No, it doesn't get you high or explode. I made it because it is an effective catalyst for another reaction. Yes, I had to make a catalyst just to make another catalyst. Ridged secondary and tertiary alcohols with appropriate steric hindrance can be used to catalyze a low temperature reduction of sodium hydroxide to sodium metal using magnesium. You can see in this reaction diagram that the only inputs are magnesium shavings and sodium hydroxide, the outputs are sodium metal, magnesium oxide, and hydrogen gas. The fancy alcohol is purely catalytic and recycled. Nerd Rage PhD on YouTube did a great series on his refinement of the process. I highly recommend you watch his video on the mechanism, I put the link in the comments. I did attempt to use the borneal I made to make sodium metal using the Nerd Rage procedure. It suffered complications around stirring and heating and the yield was rather low. However, I did recover a moderate amount of sodium and lithium activated magnesium alloy. Most everything seems highly water reactive. Let's try a bit bigger piece of the amalgam. Not too big as I'm not making this stuff just to waste it, and I actually don't want to fire. Nice. We now have a mechanistic pathway to fun chemicals. Until next time friends.